Bitcoin, altcoins, and the entire cryptocurrency market is deep in the red as we have some breaking news. Today, I was going to be sharing with you another altcoin video, but this was just too much to take right now. And I think that this is too important to pass up on. I typically don't make news reporting videos. That's not what this channel is really about. But when something this major does happen with crypto, we are here every single day, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, sharing with you everything that you need to know. So if you appreciate that, please smash up the like button, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because we have some huge news. Let's just dive right into it. Crypto exchange Kraken ends its staking program and $30 million to the SEC in its settlement. So Kraken is going to be paying $30 million to settle its case, says regulators, and the settlement could have major implications across the entire industry. I'm going to give my own honest opinion about this and why this is happening right now. And I actually don't think that it is as detrimental as a lot of the news is making it seem. News and fear mongering, it just, what it does is it makes you overly fearful. People panic. I think that's exactly what all these articles are trying to do. I think there's some real issues going on here as well. I'm not going to say that this is not good news or bad news. I think it's news and it's important, but the fact is that this has kind of been going on behind the scenes and what happened last year with FTX, Celsius, Luna, the SEC has just said, look, enough's enough. We're getting rid of it. I really do believe that that's the case and that's why Kraken now has stopped. So if you are staking on any centralized platform, Kraken, Binance US, especially if you're a US citizen, because that's what it's about right now. If you're a US citizen, this is going to most likely affect you the most. And it will affect the rest of the crypto community as well. I would very, very much, and if you didn't learn from the previous with Celsius FTX, I would start looking at removing from staking as soon as possible because I think it's just a domino effect that's going to happen. And this is good and bad. So let's get into why it is good and bad. So Kraken reached its settlement. And the SEC came down and said, today we have charged Kraken with failing to register the offer and sale of their crypto asset staking as a service program, whereby investors transfer crypto assets to Kraken for staking in exchange for advertised annual investment returns of as much as 21%. So this is important to understand because what they're going after here is this claiming of all of this crazy yield and basically people lending and giving away their crypto and then all of these companies just saying, oh, but we don't have it and then people losing all their money. And that's what I think and why I think the SEC is doing what they're doing. And so they're basically saying, look, Kraken, you failed to register and offer this you know, as, uh, as what, you're, what you're saying it is. I don't think they were misleading people, but my point is, is they're like, we, we, we don't want other people giving you the money and then getting high yield because BitBoy Crypto talked about this on his channel and he talks about it a lot. You know, if people want to earn yield, how do you traditionally do it? You do it with government bonds. Well, it's not a whole lot of yield to be earning there, but staking with crypto, especially with stable coins, goes against exactly what a bond is trying to do. And so the governments are going to be fighting crypto tooth and nail now. Then the reason for this is because they see it as a real threat and they see that they want to control as much as they can. And if you can go and take your US dollars or your crypto or not your crypto, but you you know you take your dollars or you take your fiat currency and then you transform that into Tether, BUSD, USDC and you can just put it on a centralized exchange and earn yield from it. Why wouldn't you do that? As soon as I started finding that out and figuring that out, I went, well, I don't want any of my money in the bank. There's no point in putting it there. I can get yield on all these other crypto coins and all this other stuff. That's what got me into investing in crypto because not only could the coins go up, but you could also earn yield and it's way better than just having it sit in the bank. The government's saying, no, 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 not anymore. Especially we've had too many issues with this. We have to do something, right? Because they've gotten so much backlash about what happened with FTX. They're finally doing something. And what they're also doing and it's important to know this, is Brian Armstrong basically said this yesterday, that they're hearing rumors that the SEC would get rid of crypto staking in the U.S. And that's well, that's exactly what they did uh, for retail customers. So this is important too. He said for retail customers, basically they're trying to protect, right? The SEC is trying to protect the average person who just hears about, you know, 
one of these centralized exchanges offering you this ridiculous yield, right? And that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to get rid of that. Does that mean they're going to get rid of all staking in crypto? I don't believe so. That's not the intent. That's not what I'm reading and that's not what I'm seeing. So there's good news. We'll talk about that in a second. But I hope that that's not the case because I would believe it'd be a terrible path for the U.S. if it was allowed to happen. So I think that he's fishing for some attention here. And, you know, Coinbase has is a centralized exchange and it's very similar to Kraken. It's very similar to all these other centralized exchanges. And they have a, a program to where if you buy USDC, you earn like one and a half percent or something like that. And he doesn't want that to happen. He doesn't want that to go away. Well, of course you don't <laughs> because you want people to, that's how people onboard into Coinbase. They take their dollars. They're like, oh, I'll just have USDC. It's the, this one of the safest uh, stable coins. I can earn yield. And then, oh, maybe there's these other crypto coins. Maybe I can earn on there. And we saw with, Again, Genesis with Gemini going bankrupt, the, the SEC has to do something. And so they just, I think, are going quick and just making a decision and say, look, we're just going to get rid of this. Done. Now, does that, does that not mean that there's decentralized staking? Are they going to ban that? I don't, I don't believe that that's the case. And I don't even think they could because I'm going to be honest, people could just get around that. And there's no way that like, I don't know how they would get around it, but you can get around it. Okay. Like if you own your own keys and you have your own coins, there are some cryptos that you can earn yield and staking for that. Uh, that's true decentralization. And that's truly what staking is about. In fact, you could go to like near protocol you can go to a lot of these protocols, even Ethereum, Cardano, these are all proof of stake. And that's where you can earn yield, just staking and holding up the network. So I don't think the government's going that drastic. I think that they're just getting rid of this centralized stuff where everyone got burned. That's my interpretation. So uh, Brian Armstrong says, staking is a really important innovation to crypto. It allows users to participate directly in running uh, you know, open crypto networks. Staking brings many positive improvements to the space, including scalability. I don't think that that's what they're... Yeah, I don't think they're going after that. So I think it's just these centralized exchanges and... Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with this. So let's talk about, though, a few other things that are, are helpful and will be good for the what's going to happen next with crypto. Are we going back to new lows? I know the bubbles say that we're deep in the red, deep, deep in the red. You know, all these crypto coins are just getting absolutely crushed. But here's the thing. We just had a lot of green candles for quite a while. Okay, so if we refresh right now, you can see here we're at 21.8. And the truth is, is that Bitcoin has been going up literally since 16,000 in January for an entire month. So I don't think it's, you know, to see this going back down a little bit is not that uncommon. We're getting a little bit of a correction. It's only down 5%. That's not the end of the world. Now, what key levels do we need to hold in order to not come all the way back down here to 16,000 and then potentially make new lows? That's always on the table. I don't believe that that's the case. I think we have a lot of momentum. I think that this was very timely right? It's like we just had this nice momentum wave of, of course, now we have some bad news. It feels a little, I wouldn't say manipulated, but it feels a little timely to me. And so we really need to hold this $20,000 level, if not 19.5 really is what needs to be held. That Those are some key levels there. If we start breaking those with daily candle closes, wicks are one thing. Okay. So if it wicks down there and comes back up, that's one thing, but we really don't want to start playing around down in these levels again, because that would be very bearish. And then we could potentially make new lows later in the year. And this was just a gigantic bull trap. I hope that that's not the case, but anything can happen. That could have that could have just had a, a bunch of hype and FOMO. And now we have a bunch of bad news and we go to new lows. It's always on the table. I don't believe that that is the case. I'm going to be honest. I don't think that that's the case. I believe that the bottom is in. I've been saying that since June. And if you look at Ethereum, the bottom has been in since June for Ethereum. Bitcoin went down because of FTX. That was your black swan. But back here, your low was in June. And I called it out on the channel. And I said that way back in June. And even in here, I was saying that with people. And they were saying, no way, it's going lower. It's going lower all through here. And I said that because there was a lot of indicators that were going to surprise people. And I think that they're still surprised. So look, I'm happy to be wrong. And I could be wrong. And this could go all the way down to 400 bucks. It could. I don't believe that that's the case. Now, if they do ban staking entirely... Ethereum is proof of stake. It just moved to proof of stake. If that happens, I mean, all bets are off the table. That, that could be something big. So if you have enjoyed this video so far, though, I would really appreciate your support. We are still growing like crazy on this channel. 350,000 subscribers. So smash up that like button. Click the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also, as a big thank you, I wrote in the community tab. If you don't know, I post in the community tab every single day. So make sure to check our community tab. 350,000. I just want to say thank you to everyone. We got a bunch of comments. So thank you, everyone. And thank you for the likes as well. 
Uh, we may be doing a giveaway in the very near future, so make sure to keep coming back to the channel. I mean, really, really near future, so just keep looking out for that. And I also wanted to share a couple other things here really quickly, the channels. I have two new channels. We're gonna be posting new content very soon. I just created a vlog that'll be coming very soon. Just created my story video. It's gonna be really great. If you're interested in entrepreneurship, business, and other finance stuff, you're gonna love this new channel because that's what I'm gonna be talking about. And the format and the videos are very similar to what you're seeing here with crypto. So I think you're gonna love it. And I'm excited because we almost have 200 subscribers. So thank you very much. It's free to subscribe. So just make sure to just come down to the channels, subscribe today. New videos are coming very soon, most likely next week. So make sure to have the bell notification on. I'll post in the community tab as well for our new videos. And yeah, we're gonna get some new channels going. Also, I wanted to mention, if you're interested in learning even more about crypto, my online class is 75% off. We're in a bear market still. We're starting to turn more bullish. I, I Maybe we're in a, a bull market in disguise, but either way, we have a massive 75% discount. Many of my students literally in the last week or two made tons of profits, did very, very well. This plays for this pays for itself if you're able to find the right cryptos at the right time and understand the strategy. It's not a DCA strategy. This is a unique strategy where I took $10,000 and turned it into 250 in literally a week. You can do this in crypto. I know my students have done it. If you're interested, click the links there. Now, let me share with you a couple other updates and then we'll be done for the day. The first one is that local Bitcoins will close down P2P uh, crypto exchange service. So if you have any Bitcoin on local Bitcoins, you got 12 months to withdraw it or it's gone. So I don't know if there's any of you that do or do not use local Bitcoins, but it says local Bitcoin customers have 12 months to withdraw their crypto from the local Bitcoins wallet, but are advised to do so immediately. Yes, I mean, if you do have any, I would just get it out of there immediately. Uh, because it looks like they're closing for business. So you got this coming down on us. You got Kraken, you got staking, and there's even more rumors of more things here. AP Abacus, Andrew said, update additional actions are coming from the SEC. Again, I really just believe that this is all in reaction to what happened with FTX. The source says exchanges and stablecoin issuers will be getting Wells notices in the days and weeks to come. So stablecoin issuers. Specifically mentioned, Circle and Paxos. Again, I don't know if this is real or not or if this is true, but a Wells notice is a notification uh, issued by regulators to inform individuals or companies to complete investigations where in, uh, infractions have been discovered. It usually takes the form of a letter, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So look, I don't think that there's any issues here. I think that this is just a lot of SEC reacting to what happened in the last couple of months and a lot of retail people being very upset. And naturally so, when billions of dollars are lost and a lot of people lost a lot of money, they're complaining to the SEC. The SEC looks bad because they didn't protect the investors, they didn't do their due diligence, so now they're taking action. Of course, now they're doing it after the fact. So I think that this is just going to not necessarily change the industry. I think there might be good news somewhere in the future that they don't completely ban staking if that's the case where it's just more decentralized or they allow credited investors something of that nature to do staking i think that's going to be very bullish only time will tell nobody knows for sure what is going to happen next so make sure to do your research but yeah i would not su be surprised to see some of these cryptocurrencies call a little bit lower um but look i strongly believe that the bottom is in for crypto I also believe that crypto is going to make it in the long run. So in this game, it's buy the red, sell the green. And, you know, looking at the seven days down 8%, 6%, some of these altcoins are still up a lot. So if you take a look and we've been warning on the channel, we've been happy with how the altcoins have been performing. They've been doing extremely well. If you look at the last month, look at the month. It's still green. Hex has still doubled its money. Hex is a staking coin. It's decentralized. It'd be interesting to see how this one ends up. I know we talked about it a lot. Uh, AGIX is up over 400%. That's over a 4X. Near Protocol is up 38%. Aptos is up over 100%. This is crazy. This is all in one month still. So I know today is a red day and maybe it will be another red week. But overall, the week is still very green for a lot of these crypto coins. Okay? So don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Again, if you missed out on some of these coins and you're looking at yourself going, oh my gosh, you know, I should have should have got in. These coins are flying. This could be your opportunity and... I don't know how many more of these opportunities you're going to be getting because bear markets do not last forever. So take that for what it's worth. And if you want to join us in VIP, again, come join us in VIP. Click the links down below. Enroll today 
because now is the time to start learning and understanding how this industry works, start working with people, start literally learning exactly how to be successful in crypto. I see too many people just watch YouTube videos and then they just, they don't know what they're doing. They make poor investment decisions. They buy really high and they sell really low. If you want a strategy, you want a formula that has worked not only for myself, but many of my other students. And again, just read the testimonials, come here and do your research on this. If you are interested, come join us and start winning the game of crypto. I'm going to have another video coming out sometime either next week or this week where I really share why I created this class and the whole purpose behind it. I think you're going to love the video. It's going to be a raw, real video. And it's going to, I'm going to share with you exactly how I made the $250,000. I know I've told the story before, but the way I'm going to share this and the details and everything that's going to go through this, I think it's going to be fantastic. And I think you're going to love it. I've been thinking a lot about it and I can't wait to share. So if you are interested in that, click the links down below and also make sure to keep coming back to the channel here and subscribe, subscribe to the two new channels. Thanks again for watching today's video.